This is the easiest way to use up stuff from your fridge and it comes together in less than 10 minutes. We have brown shrimp on our a la carte menu at the moment, so I'm just gonna do a really quick sort of brown shrimp fried rice. I mean, everything happens so quickly, you really wanna have everything made before you start cooking. So I'm just sort of roughly chopping these spring onions so they've still got a bit of texture, so not too fine. Uh, at the moment, we're in the, we're in the, uh, in the row kitchen. The fowl's getting a little uh, facelift. So these are all the green parts of the, um, the spring onions, which I've taken off. They're gonna go into the fried rice last. I got some onions, got just a little dice of carrot. Just gonna to top and tail these green beans. So I, to be honest, it's one of those things, it's the best recipe for when you kind of don't know what else to cook and you've got a couple of ingredients in the fridge. Good one to sort of clean out your, uh, your vegetable drawer. It's fairly simple in terms of structure of how you put it together. It's pretty hard to do without a wok. Just using a little spoon rather than a, a knife to retain a bit more of the uh, ginger. It's sort of a bit more flexible of going over the, um, over the root with a, with a spoon because otherwise you end up just wasting it. And, that, and this is really just a very fine julienne of ginger, not too much. It's quite a strong flavor, so it just adds a bit of freshness. I'm gonna add that basically in almost last, so with the green parts of my, uh, of my spring onions. Mise en place is super important with this dish because, well, hopefully, if the wok performs really well, we'll see, but it'll all come together in less than, less than a minute or two. Really nice, fine brunoise of of garlic there. Again, not too much. I think I've had, I've had a really good fried rice before. In my favorite is actually in in Soho, it, and it's not really like I don't think it's a traditional tiny. This is a, almost like Thai fried rice. They call it ni, niam rice, and it's really heavy on the fish sauce. I'm just going to put those in at the same time as as the uh, as the brown shrimp. I'm using brown shrimp. You could easily just use prawns or um, frozen frozen shrimp. Use whatever you want. Honestly, this could be bacon, it could be diced cold pork that you've got in the fridge, it could be chicken thigh, uh, whatever you want. I've just got shrimp and I love shrimp fried rice. I really love the crunch and snap of a, of a coriander stalk. I actually prefer using coriander stalk than I do using uh, fresh coriander. So you get the, the crunch and you get that fresh coriander hit as well. I've had various different iterations of fried rice in lots of different restaurants I go to. And the, my favorite one is uh, in Speedboat Bar, but I also absolutely love it in uh, Old Town 97 in, uh, in Chinatown in Soho. So that's basically it on the mise en place front. Carrots and beans, coriander stalks, onion, brown shrimp and garlic, a little bit of fresh ginger, the green bits from the um, spring onions, and then the white spring onions, got our eggs here. So this is our rice. It's a long grain jasmine rice, so nice and aromatic. Made a chicken stock, added some um, lots of chicken feet to the chicken stock. Allowed it to cook for about two hours. Um, then I cooked the rice in that with just a few aromats, so some ginger, some spring onion, some garlic, and then I've just fluffed it up. You know, it was fairly solid, and I've just sort of fluffed it up. So when it goes into the pan, it's already pretty much ready to go. It's it's you know it's fully cooked, still got a little bite to it. Everyone calls it one day one day old rice. Yeah, it's got to be one day old because then the grains separate as it cools. Otherwise, you have like, like a almost like a claggy, overcooked mess. It's, it's nowhere near as good when you use fresh rice. Right, let's have a go on this bad boy. Whoa! Look at that. That's only been on for two seconds. That's absolutely ripping. You don't really want to rush any of the previous steps because as soon as you start cooking, um, you pretty much have to go, go, go. So if you want to cook this straight away and serve it, what I suggest is say. If you've got your eggs, a few bits of um, garlic and the rice and you just want to add some soy sauce and some stuff at the end, that's fine. If you've got some vegetables that are going to take a little bit of cooking, how I would do it is break it up into two stages. Cook your eggs first. I'm just going to do two eggs. Good little tip, I don't know if you know this, but always use the other, other part of the shell to get the shell out. Just whisk this up. So you can see it's that smoke started to form. I've got, I always use quite a lot of oil. Add that to the oil. And just as it starts to get nice and crispy, we take that out. To break it up a slightly, same, into that same container. So this is just vegetable oil. But what we're going to do is, once we've cooked the veg, we're going to add just a little bit of sesame oil as well. So, 
veg goes in all nice and quick. Just lightly cook them down. And then next we're going to go in with our garlic, brown shrimp. What you don't want to do is take the wok off the induction because then you're going to lose a, a little bit of that heat. You're just using this turning peel to agitate the pan and turn it around. Trying to avoid getting too much colour on anything, just a nice bit of char. And then rice goes in. I've got a little bit of a trick for you, which is what I do if I'm ever doing staff food, rice for staff food, is I'll use a blowtorch just to give a little bit of extra seasoning. And because you don't have that really huge um, gas, gas flame, this helps cook the rice nice and quick, but it also helps to season it. So it's called uh, wok kueh. Wok hay, sorry. And it basically just gives it the seasoning of, of that sort of like huge industrial gas powered flame. Right, eggs in. Break that up. Just gonna turn it down slightly. Continue to move it around nicely. So you don't let it stop, yeah. Especially in this bad boy, it's so hot. Which is awesome, that's what you want. But at the same time, it's really important that you keep it all moving. That's what we want, nice separated grains. I'm just gonna season it with a tiny little bit of sesame oil. Touch of soy sauce around the outside of the rice. This is dark soy, so you don't need a huge amount. It's quite intense. Cools down the outside of the pan. And then tiny little splash of fish sauce to finish it. Right, last little aspects of this is our spring onions. A little bits of ginger. All the green parts of our spring onion too. That's basically the fresh freshness in our fried rice. So that'll keep really nice and fresh whilst you're eating it. You kind of get these little bit, like bursts of ginger little bits of uh, onion in there. And then, obviously, a good hit of MSG. I think by now MSG is old news, everyone just accepts it. You know, kind of accept it like that. It's just fucking delicious. It makes things so much better. I'm gonna finish it with these coriander stalks all over, but fresh coriander works as well. There we go, that's a fried rice. Really quick and easy meal, but super indulgent, super delicious. It could be with pork, it could be with pretty much, you know, like tiny little slithers of beef. But the most important thing is learning about how to use the wok, keeping it super hot the whole time, and then gentle seasoning. So this is dark soy. I only use probably about, about a tablespoon, but you can see how dark the rice is and it really helps to season it. But if you use light soy, you just need to use a little bit more. I, I never go too hard on sesame oil because I think it's quite an like, imposing flavor and then fish sauce just gives it that extra kick. You could add a little bit of lime juice at the end, but for me that's, that's spot on, perfect. 